Sí, es igual. Benny needs a moment to take that in. <laughs> Y'all already know what time it is. Everybody is getting to the end of their 90 days. So it's either I do or I don't. As you can see, Benny and Ari are officially husband and a wife. And so are Muhammad and Eve. Yes, she married him. I couldn't believe it. But you know, Eve is big on intuition. I've always felt very spiritual. So if she feels in her heart that this is the best decision for her, so be it. May the force be with you. We're gonna take a look at the standout moments from the couple's big days, including moments that made my heart melt and moments like this. You look your <laughs> yeah, that's Muhammad getting jiggy with it on the dance floor. If there was a video next to the definition of jiggy, this would be it. Go ahead, Muhammad. <laughs> Let's get into it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, baby go girl, go ahead. Hey, 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Before we get into the wedding, you remember last week, the show teased Shida getting upset after seeing the wedding dress that Bilal's sister made for her for the first time. How can I get married in this old lady dress? Someone clearly was not taking instructions. Well, come to find out, it was a prank. Another one. Yes, another one. Gosh. I know you're not in the mood, but close your eyes one more time. OK, open it up. <laughs> oh, my god. So yeah. I just decided to play a little joke on you with that one. They better be careful with these pranks because one day it's gonna be something serious and she's gonna think it's a joke. You ever yeah, heard about the again? boy who cried wolf? What is it with you and the lot of pranks? It's a family trip. It's a family trip, yes. <laughs> Clearly. Speaking of family, Shida's two younger sisters are in town for the wedding and you can tell that they are all related. They're beautiful. How y'all feeling? <sighs> How we feeling? You all feeling? You getting married, not us. Her sisters were only able to make it because they are studying in New York. The rest of Shida's family couldn't make it because they're back in Trinidad and the borders are closed. By the way, Shida's sisters don't seem to be huge fans of Blau. Actually, American men in general. I don't like that prenup thing, I really don't. My entire family knows about the prenuptial agreement between Bilal and myself. It's not something that they agreed with per se, because back home, a prenup is foreign. Like, that's something we don't do back home. So they are not, it's not sitting well with them. I'm shocked that he ended up with an American because, you know, I don't know. I talked to one or two, my very limited experience, American men, and. Uh, Oh, very cocky, they know it all. Oh, you know? okay. Boy, I tell you, watching this show, you get to see how people from other countries really feel about us Americans outside of the opportunities this land has to offer. It's very humbling. I feel pretty wedding after the, when they finish married, I'm going to perform um, Kanye West, School Diggers. No, <laughs> they're not. Since the time she was the sign of prenup, they just for fun and gosh. If her sister did that, I am not going to lie, I would love to see it. If you ain't no punk, holla, we want prenup. We want prenup, yeah. You better not play no gold digging song for me there. Just a true shade. That is such a little sister thing to do. I'm a little sister, so I get it. But yeah, no, she shouldn't do that. It would have everyone else at the wedding in their business. Kanye West, gold digger? Why would they play that? Today is the big day. All right, next week, it looks like we will be able to see Shida and Bilal say I do. I can't wait. Also, I have to shout out Kanda real quick. After last week's episode, they said Bilal's mom needs to be placed on the 90 day MVP wall for being a voice of reason in this 90 day world where they don't come around often. But when it comes to trust, what does trust really mean? It means different things to different people. Mm -hmm. I agree, Kander. She was speaking truth. Let's go ahead and put her on there. Yep, she looks like she belongs. Thanks for that. I love that wall. 
All right, let's get into Benny and Ari's wedding. Now, I know that these two officially tying the knot is something I had to cover because they're one of the more popular 90 day couples. But am I the only one who feels like they've already been married? So much so that during my interview with them, Benny mistakenly kept calling Ari his wife. Because you know more than likely during the interview, they were already married, but couldn't tell us. <laughs> and each time he said it, I didn't flinch until Ari called it out. You know, she's, she's my wife. Why you throw my wife? I'm just like that. I don't even want to interject here. Benny always said wife, even from when the first time we were together, because in Ethiopia, like if you live together and you have a baby, you're a wife. What's so interesting yeah, though, when you- prefer to have your fiance. She tried to clean it up, but yeah. Am I alone in that? It just feels like it's been a journey. Hello there, Art. At the top of the episode, Benny and Ari are preparing for their wedding, which is hours away. Ari is at her sister's, while Benny is at their house giving Ari's dad a haircut. And Avi, who was so freaking cute, tries to help. Okay, no, 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 no. Hmm? It's yours, your brush yourself. How about you? You're here. Yeah. That's very good. Look, Benny gave Avi the same haircut that he has. <laughs> They're both rocking mohawks for the wedding. Adorable. I'm so happy. I'm free. I'm smiling. Thanks to God. Ari's dad goes on to help Benyam get ready for his big day. Meanwhile, after having serious doubts about their long-term compatibility, Ari says she's excited now about marrying Benyam. But what she's not really feeling is the fact that his sisters are gonna be there virtually. At first, I really didn't like the idea of wishing Mimi attending the wedding even virtually because Benny's sisters have not treated me well over the years. Particularly right before we left, they threw wine in my face. Oh, we remember. I actually did invite them after I had a change of heart because it's going to make Benny happy and I really love him, you know. Yeah, that's evident. When it comes to Benyam's sisters, Ari does a great job with putting her pride to the side for the sake of peace. Kudos to you, girl, because... <laughs> Who am I kidding? I would probably do the same thing with my nice self. I'm so nice, sometimes I'm too nice, okay? <laughs> but that's beside the point. Let's get into the wedding dress reveal. My favorite part. Wow, you look like a princess. A princess statue? She looks like a statue you would see at Madame Tussauds or something. Oh wait, you have to see the shoes. Look at those glitter sneakers. Interesting choice. I'm here for it though. She looks beautiful. Okay, let's fast forward to the ceremony, which by the way, they chose to have a Jewish wedding because Ari, who is Jewish, compromised and allowed Avi to have a Christian baptism back in Ethiopia because that's what Benyam wanted. Here comes the bride. <laughs> When I see Ari smiling, when you look at me, I love her so much. She is my angel. Like, God, he give it to me, this beautiful family. Wow. Thank you. Oh, you look really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Benny and Ari start to say their vows, but I was distracted by this one. Why is Avi so cute? Look at his little lip. Just when I lost my first relationship with my family, and Ari, she find me, like, in the street. She give it to me hearts, uh, she give it to me love, and then she give it to me, like, beautiful family now. I'm so excited for everything. I remember the day that I met you, when you were walking down the street. Somehow I got you to stop and talk to me. Is Bingham trying to hold back tears? When you were walking down the street, somehow I got you to stop and talk to me. Oh, he is. And at that time, I never thought that one day we would live in New Jersey and we'd get married in a temple. You were a great father to Avi, and I love you so, 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 so much. They carry on with Jewish tradition and Benyam solidifies the marriage by breaking the glass. But then he tries to pick it up. 
which is actually so endearing. But Ari quickly told him to put it down. Well, don't pick it up. We'll, we'll okay. take care of the glass. <laughs> just, just your wife. Time. Friends and family, honored witnesses, it is my pleasure to present for the first time as a married couple, Benny and I. We don't know what the future holds, but I definitely think that this family is going to have a lot more adventures in the future. <laughs> oh my God, I love you. Love you. Love you too. Oh, congrats, y'all. Congrats. Let's quickly touch on the wedding I didn't see coming with Eve and Muhammad. Ta da! <laughs> he literally, like, re proposed to me again. Last episode, Muhammad proposed to Eve for a second time following a chat with his mom, where she told him to stop judging Eve. Now Eve has decided to move forward with the marriage, despite her doubts that he will accept her for who she is. And despite the fact that he called her a sponsor instead of his fiance, and threatened to return to Egypt if they didn't get married ASAP because he's ready to work. If I'm not allowed to work in this country, I will okay, so it's go all back about to you. Egypt. I don't think that Eve should marry him. And I want her to know that I'm here if she changes her mind. I know last night he proposed again and it was a beautiful thing, but that's just like when you get in a fight and someone brings you roses or a beautiful diamond ring. Yeah. It's not just that. I mean, we had a conversation and, you know, it's just we're back at the place that we've, like, pretty much been, like him being lovey and romantic and all that. My friends are pretty intuitive, so I take my friends' concerns seriously because I, I want to feel comfortable about the decision I'm making for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'm with Eve's friends. She's such a good woman. She's a dedicated mom. She has a loving heart. She's a hard worker. In my opinion, she deserves better. But her friends and I and some of you can think that all day. It all boils down to what she believes. And for those of you out there who may be wondering, why is she choosing such a difficult path? Or if she's so intuitive, why hasn't her intuition stopped her from moving forward with Muhammad? Here's something she told me during our chat that might give reason to that. She subscribes to the spiritual concept called Twin Flames. I'll let her explain. We feel like we have a twin flame connection, which he doesn't usually use that terminology, but I yeah. think so. And I think that, that we are the epitome of that cultural difference, age difference, distance. And, you know, this union is it's a very, like, amazing, like, kind of bond, but also it's difficult. It's challenging. difficult because it's challenging your souls to mm. basically, like, grow. So sometimes you mirror each other or sometimes you push each other's buttons and I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know, yeah. so I've always wanted that in my life. I've always wanted somebody who actually makes me grow. Yeah. For those of you who raised the intuition question, that's the best I can give you right now. All right, fast forward to the day of the wedding. I would rather to have a Muslim ceremony if I can, but my call with my mom was one of the reasons why I, I can understand that I am here in the US and Eve is an American and her day. Did you know that your suit, you match Rihamid? <gasps> oh my gosh, child! You look so adorable. You bring tears to my eyes. You look so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Oh, I love seeing those moments with her son. She lights up. Speaking of lighting up, Eve glows as she walks down the aisle in her dress. And if you notice, her dress is not modest, but Muhammad is all smiles. He doesn't complain. And you can see her son, Theron, was not feeling that suit anymore. He took it off. It is what it is. Children have their, like, time limits and patience. And with autism, sometimes children have less patience. So that's what he ended up wearing, which was just fine. <laughs> Overall, it was a touching ceremony. 
A stranger would never think they just went through everything they went through. Muhammad even cried. <laughs> and now by the power vested in me by the state of New Mexico, and spirits. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Muhammad, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> this moment, I was waiting for this moment for so freaking long. <laughs> yeah, so you can work. Okay, let me stop. Let's try to keep it positive here. I like Eve. No shade, Muhammad, no shade. A little, a little. Anywho, congrats to the happy couple, I guess. And Muhammad and that dance move. It just makes me think of things I don't want to imagine. <laughs> okay, well, Eve tells the cameras that so far, so good. Muhammad has been living up to his promise of accepting her for who she is. He's been doing things he wouldn't usually do with her, like going to breathwork classes. Look at her friend, she is really into it. Breathwork is amazing, by the way. Lots of benefits. Look into it. I decided to be more open because I realized that if I don't compromise, I will lose Eve forever. Mm, well. We'll see on the tell-all how things are currently between them, if it's actually working out. Until then, next week it looks like on top of Shida and Bilal getting married, we'll see Kobe and Emily tie the knot, as well as Jabri and Miona. An unhappy Miona on her wedding day. You don't want to see that. You know, sometimes you don't get everything you want. I know exactly how I want my wedding to look like, so don't up. Don't even try to ruin my wedding. I'm also not sure what's gonna happen between Thais and Patrick. She's been having major doubts about marrying him. And when I say major doubts, I mean, you can tell deep down, she doesn't really want to. <sighs> All right, 90 Day Fans fam. A lot is happening, but don't worry. Just make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time. <laughs>